Welcome back to Teach Man to Fish channel. Today's video is going to be venison backstrap, butterfly wrapped in bacon with a little bit of size. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the last venison that we have in the freezer from last season. And the hunting season is right around the corner, so we're getting excited about that approaching. It's about two months away. So that freezer that's getting low is getting ready to get restocked. Well, here's the ingredients that we'll need for this grill cook. It's gonna be a relatively easy cook, light on the spices because there's enough flavor in this venison. We don't wanna cover that up with a bunch of spices that drown out the flavor of that venison. Here's what we're gonna need for this cook. It is a very easy cook. We've got bacon, Brussels sprouts, olive oil, salt, pepper, the back strap, and we're gonna do a roast a little bit of bread. Obviously you don't have to do that. We'll go ahead and get that back strap cleaned up. It's probably the most important process, getting rid of that blue skin and any of those tough tendons or fat, which is what gives the gamey flavor to that piece of meat. Okay, now that we have these back straps all cleaned up, we need to cut them into four inch strips so that they'll butterfly nicely. Kind of increases the circumference of each of them to make them a little bit larger, able to wrap up that bacon a little bit better. Let's go ahead and head out to the grill and do a little bit of pre-cook on this bacon. Once we get it wrapped, the bacon will not cook as fast as the backstrap does. So a little pre-cook on it. You're not doing it all the way. It's still got some flexibility in it, but just enough to get it so that it'll be caught up with that backstrap as it cooks. While we're waiting for that bacon to crispy up just a little bit, we'll go ahead and prep those Brussels sprouts for the same pan. So again, we don't want that bacon to cook all the way. That's right about where we want to stop it. And so you can see, this is from another video. This is a the rocket stove that we built. And you simply load the wood in and it travels up that chimney right onto the pan. While that bacon is going, we'll go ahead and get our lump charcoal going in the chimney. It's really hot out there right now. I just got home from work, so I'm squeezing this cook in right here at the last part of the day. We're probably gonna lose some light out there, but we'll flip on the back lights and do the cook under the lamp. We get that not quite cooked all the way through bacon, wrapped around each of these. Make sure you tell your guests that there is a toothpick in the filet. So each of these will give them a little coating of olive oil on each and that will help with the sear on the grill but we're, we're, you'll notice we're not really dousing it it's just kind of a, a light coating on each side. Now a light dusting of salt and pepper. If you have to put in another toothpick to help this hold together, that's okay. This smaller end, while it is actually more tender, it 
because that's closer up to the neck. It is, uh, it's also smaller, so it having a little bit more difficulty holding together. And you'll notice we made a little bit of extra bacon. That goes in, it's crunched up, and goes in with the Brussels sprouts. Notice that that pan has a little bit of bacon grease left in it. We leave that to saute the Brussels sprouts in. In some of the other videos, we're doing this in upside down grill grate cook because you actually get better grill marks on that side of the grill. Check out the other videos as to why that is. A little bit of grill grate prep. While that grill is heating up, we'll go ahead and get the Brussels sprouts sauteing on the rocket stove. A little bit of water to help steam in that. So we start this cook, you've got the split side and then the flat side, you start it flat side down. And that's for a couple of minutes on each side. Then you rotate it 90 degrees to get the right grill marks on that. Now we'll go ahead and do the 90 degree flip. Let's take a look and see what those grill gates are looking like. Looking pretty good. If you do not have yourself a good thermometer, meat thermometer, you need to get yourself one. It makes this cook so much more consistent because I like to cook to temperature, not to time. So we're trying to achieve right around 120 for this cook. And that's the goal. So with this sportsman's grill, we have a damper down here at the bottom that we can close off. It's running a bit hot for me. Uh, so we're going to close that off and let it cook a little bit slower. All right, these are looking pretty well done. Not pretty well done. These are looking just about there, so we'll go ahead and pull them off and let them finish off in the rest. How does that look? Cast Iron Live Sportsman's Grill, butterfly backstrap wrapped in bacon, cast iron skillet sauteed Brussels sprouts, makes a great meal. There's the results of cooking to temperature. Perfect, medium rare. You don't want to cook venison much more than that. Mmm. So tender. Good, Brandon. I bet. <laughs> you want to eat some, don't you? Yes. Should we do another take on this? No. No? <laughs> you want to eat that? No, I can't remember.
<laughs> so this video, YouTube says, is perfect for your viewing habits. And this video is my latest upload. If you enjoyed this, I'd ask you to click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.